Hey, Cameron here, taking a look at the new Microsoft Surface Pro 3. Uh, we're going to be looking at Minecraft performance on this device in this video. Uh, first of all, I wanted to note I've got the uh, i5 version, uh, 4300U CPU, which turbos at 2.5 gigahertz. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, load up Minecraft, and we're going to take a look at the performance that we get. So here we are, got the game loaded. Uh, just noting this is a bone stock Minecraft. Um, there's lots of uh, modifications you can do to make this run a lot quicker. But this is just going to give a basic overview. I'm just going to create a random world. And here we are. Uh, I'm going to change this into full screen mode. And then I'm going to turn on the frame rate. So, uh, I'm just going to go invert the mouse because otherwise I won't be able to move very easy. Okay. So, as you can see, this is a very constant 30 frames per second. I'm actually surprised that it has not changed it all off of that 30 frames per second in Minecraft. So um, this is all stock settings. Uh, so if you look at the video, say fancy graphics, maximum, um, pretty much everything is turned on at this point so pretty good performance here um, especially when you consider that this is actually running at a, at a, a very high resolution um, so that's quite good a real constant 30 frames per second in Minecraft on the Service Pro 3. Uh, the next thing I'm going to look at is um, if you want even better performance than what we just saw there, I'm going to show you what you can do uh, to kind of maximize your Minecraft performance. If, if 30 frames per second kind of bogs down and bothers you, uh, go ahead and change your screen resolution from the 2160 by 1440. You can bump that down to something like 1366 by 768. Let's go ahead and apply that. And the other thing you'll want to do so Minecraft doesn't go funny is uh, where it says make text and other items larger or smaller. Set that to the 100%. That will remove the scaling. Um, you do have to sign out of the computer first. Um, but once you've done that, you can then proceed to load up Minecraft and have it play at a, at a lesser uh, resolution. And let's see what we get in terms of frame per second on that type of. So let's play that same world. Let's go in and go full screen. And now you can see we're running now much smoother. You probably can't see in the video, but in real life it's, the effect is there. Um, a real smooth 60 frames a second. And that's actually pretty incredible for this device. Um, it's really doing quite well in Minecraft. Uh, you shouldn't have any problems or slowdowns in Minecraft on this device, which is kind of strange because it's actually running a lot better than my uh, than my ThinkPad seemed to do, which was a 4500U device, which was pretty similar, but had a little bit higher clock speed. So, um, great job, Microsoft. Um, I'm not even feeling any heat come off of this device. I can't hear the fan ramping up, although the audio is kind of loud. So, all in all, this is a great device to be playing some games on, you know, casual games, nothing crazy, but... Uh, for Minecraft, this looks like it's running very well. 
Uh, I'm going to go ahead and, and turn up anything I can see to the max. Let's see, let's turn on anti-citropic filtering. Uh, I'll set the render distance to 12. And let's see what that does for us. Okay, bump down to 47. Still pretty good. Uh, still run about 60 frames a second. Um, so that's really great performance out of this little machine, especially considering that it only weighs 1.7 pounds. So that's great. Uh, Thanks for watching. We'll have more Surface Pro videos coming soon. And uh, hope you've enjoyed this video.